Hi guys, right in this video I want to show you how I turned a wheelie bin into a pressure washer buffing tank. This is it from from a distance. Right, so firstly on the inlet side, all I did was I bought a side fitted toilet stop cock system from one of the DIY superstars. It cost me about a tenner, if if that, I forget exactly, with uh, this separate. So what, what it is, it's a three quarter inch and it comes from this white part all the way to the inside as part of the kit. So what I did was drill a three quarter inch hole through the side of the, of the bin, screwed the tank fittings on, built the, the connections up um, on this side, and then got a little angle adapter just to, well I've just put this, this angle adapter on, because before I, I had the yellow hose lock, hose lock fitting, oh, it's half of that, just coming straight onto there. But what I was finding was that this hose here was just kinking like mad. From the angle, so I just bought one of these little adapters off uh, off eBay for about three quid or something ridiculous. So now the water comes in as it does on a toilet system. The water comes in through the hose, up into the hose lock connector through that, and then it comes out of this white. So I'll just give a quick quick demo. That. And obviously, when the tank gets full, as it does with a toilet, that comes up, stops the connection. So you'll never overflow, you'll never waste water, especially if you leave it in your van, you're not going to flood your van out, or you're not going to waste a customer's water, which they probably won't be very happy with you about. And then on the gravity fed side, coming back down, for this I went to a plumber's shop, just with, with this idea, and um, we kind of took it from there really, but this, this hose is three quarter inch, so we knew all the way it had to be three quarters, so what we did was tank fittings and so I get a bit of copper pipe in and then this is a, a gas ball valve so it's got a three quarter actually it's probably not that it says 22 mil we zoom in so then I can stop the water I can allow it to flow through so it does I'll just stop it again so it gives that bit of freedom when connecting up and and knocking down we're going back, we've got the the gas fit in there, and then to get from this gas fit into a three quarter inch, you see there we've had to just get a series of adapters. There's a little bit of copper pipe in there because it's, this is um, olive clipped in either side, so it has to be copper piped before you can get to your fittings. So there's a bit of copper pipe in there, and then just a series of, of adapters getting, I think, probably going from uh, from 22 mils, like something else, to three quarters of an inch, and then into a, a host tail barb, which is then jubed on and it comes all the way out as you can see I've had a lot of, lot of patches on the uh, on the, the hose there such so you don't want any air coming in because it will affect your flow rates so all I did there to make, to make a patch is just when you find your hole wrap a no end of uh, PTFE tape on it and I've got some black like electrical tape just to protect the, the PFTE taping <clears throat> and then just real quickly I should have shown this in the right order not going to show up, but at the very bottom there, the filter from the from the hose, which this hose is just what you would normally just drop into the top of a tank, but because I'm gravity feeding it, I didn't want that. So I'll just take that off and just fit the, the filter barb into where I've drilled the hole for the tank fitting. So you've still, you still got your filtration there, it's got little bits of grit. Uh, okay guys, I think that's about it. Anything else you want to see, just uh, drop me a comment below and I'll try and sort it out.